Okay guys, here it is. The massive Fizz the Love skull. You might notice my water is a little cloudy. Wow. And that is due to me setting off a bath bomb that I got from Ulta a few days ago. That did nothing. <laughs> it made my water cloudy. It had no scent, no nothing. So I said, you know something? Give me that big bed, boy. So we now are doing the massive, massive, giant skull bomb. <laughs> He's humongous. Uh, if you missed the unboxing of him, you can go back a few videos and check it out, but he is huge. He smells of a lemon meringue pie. She can do him in any fragrance you like. Uh, this guy is like a lemon meringue pie, uh, lemon meringue marshmallow, like he's got so many awesome fragrances to him, but to me he smells of an in-depth lemon meringue pie. Like he is like candy. He smells like cat. And look at look 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 at all the cream. Oh. So he is a big, beautiful bastard, and we have him really weighing my hand down. He's humongous. He's two pounds. This is a giant two-pound bath bomb. Who in the world? Does giant two pound bath oh, bomb. Fizzle Love. Fizzle Love does giant incredible bath bombs. This bad boy is humongous. The new giant bath bomb trend is getting to be outrageous. I, it's everywhere. I love it. I love big extravagant bath bombs. I don't really want to dip him under too much until his underbelly starts going, but you see, we have so much underbelly. I don't know how much time we're going to have here, but. It, it, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's amazing. His colors are coming off gorgeous. I gotta snap a picture. Sorry, I had to get a photo. Okay. His colors are coming off beautiful. He's absolutely amazing. The whole rest of my water is creamy and frothy. This is amazing. I am sure he is going to give us bubbles just by looking at the pure creamy frothiness. We will test that theory out. Um, I do not have Fred the Showerhead, but I do just have the regular faucet. But with this much bath bomb, we're not going to really need much oomph to ba build up some bubbles. So my regular crappy water pressure will do just fine. <laughs> but look, look at the thickness. Look at the creaminess. Look at that. You don't have to, by any chance, use this entire bath bomb either. If you get the opportunity to purchase this bad boy, and you're lucky enough to get your hands on it, you can break him down. You can smash him with a friggin' hammer and disperse him amongst, I don't know, a week's worth of baths. He's so, there's so much of it. Look, there's still so much of him. You really do not have to use him in one shot. Me? Oh, oh, you know I'm gonna use him in one shot. He's amazing. Let's fill his eyes. Let's fill his eyes. Oh, look how cool! So this giant bath bomb trend is like taking the storm. Everybody is doing it. I love it. Nobody is is going this this extravagant though. This bad boy is a big one. Oh, he's got red in bed through him. Oh, he's bleeding. He is mighty big, mighty extravagant, mighty heavy. Um, the last big bath bomb I did was a company that is no longer in existence. And I believe it was lighter than this guy. I don't believe it was as heavy. But it was close. Look, I'm trying to make like a weird, weird looking rainbow. Like this guy is big. He's still very heavy. There is still so much of him left. We are four minutes in and there is more than 50% of him left. Look. There's so much. <laughs> but look how pretty. And he's not just like fizzling out. He's creaming out. So he's very, very creamy. Very... It's just really nice. I really like this. I love that she did a massive one. I really do. He is so creamy. Let's dip him. Broop. Oh, cool! It almost looks like a real, like, head coming out of the water. Look at that. Bloop. That's crazy! 
he's still extremely heavy, but look at that. Look at the water. It's like a giant bullseye. Look at the blood bleeding out. I'm sorry. I'm having a good time, guys. I'm really having a good time with this bad boy. Richie keeps dipping in just to see what it's doing. <laughs> Look, I could even, like, flip him over. And there's still so much bath bomb left back here. Like, look how much is here. This is humongous. Now, if I just let him drop down to the bottom, of course, he just does his thing. But then you see, this is the waterfall. Everybody talks about this giant waterfall. People love it. Me, I like to keep him above the water and let him cream me up the whole top. Because look at the top. This is all, like, all bath bomb cream. It's so thick and so frothy. Like, you don't even need a bubble bath because you got all that cream. Anywho, let's keep him going. <gasps> look at his eyes bleeding out. Look at that. Look, 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 look. See, look at the bubble I'm getting already. You're not going to need an ounce of pressure to build a bubble with this guy. Not at all. It's just going to build. I don't even know if I'm going to build a bubble. I think I mean, it may just lay back in the creamy foam and relax. This is so pretty. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Just I have him underwater right now. He's only got a tiny bit of him above water. Look how freaking frothy. So you can kind of see right there how much is above the water. It's so pretty and so creamy. It looks like a sunset. So it goes from being a creepy Halloween skull to being something really beautiful and really pretty, like, you know, sunset kind of look. And it's really, like, very beautiful. I'm trying to get this to make a really good picture. He's so big, though, like, I can't really spin him too well. Ah! I almost dropped him! But I want to get a really nice picture of, like, this bullseye look. See that? Tell me that's not pretty. Very, very beautiful. She did a very good job with this guy. He is absolutely beautiful. And you can request a fragrance that you want him in. You don't have to get him in a lemon meringue. You can get him in, you know, whatever she's got. He is really, really cool. And you will find the link down below. Uh, she has been linked up in all of my videos for a very long time. You will find Fizz the Love down below. Also, uh, I believe there is a coupon code for you guys, too, down below that you can use. And it is uh, the one, spend 25 or more, and you get 20% off your order. So that's pretty damn good. Let's see how much we got left, guys. Ready? Wow. We have, like, another whole bath bomb. More than another whole bath bomb. That's... That's a good, like, 9 to 10 ounces left. Wow. Oh, did you see that just get all creamy? So, this video is quite long. Um, I was going to do it live, but unfortunately, I am running short on time this weekend. And I really, 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 like, last minute was like, just give me them, I want to do them. You know, I did that one from Ulta, and... Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I'm holding his chin. Like, no, that, it, it did nothing for me. Oh, look, sparkles! Can you see the glitter in the water? Well, on the foam? <laughs> That's sparkles. Ooh! I wasn't even, like, dwelling in on sparkles. I was just enjoying it. I have to switch hands. My hand hurts. It's so heavy. So let me just get that hand out. Oh, there we go. Okay. Bring him back up. Let's continue on. Look, even just letting him stay under, look at all the cream that you're getting on top. Like, he's still creaming and frothing. This is amazing. This is so creamy. Now, I don't have a massive tub. I don't have, like, you know, cool jets or anything like that. I just have a regular crappy bathtub. And, whoa! I dropped him. Where'd he go? And he could probably fill this entire tub with foam. That's how creamy and frothy he is. He's really, really cool. Oh, we're now down to a really cool orange in bed. So he had some nice blood red stuff coming out. Now he's got some really pretty orange sunsetty stuff. This is really, really a very... Like I said, it goes from being like the creepy Halloween thing to being this beautiful, what looks like a gorgeous orange creamsicle-y sunset type deal. 
Very, very nice. I can definitely make some pretty bath art with this. Let's see if we can break his little nose off. Oh, she's got him on there. Good. Dip him in. Keep building up the cream. Lately, I have been very partial to playing with bath bombs instead of just, like, leaving them to just do their thing. Bath bombs can just get boring after a while of just sitting there and letting them just fizz out. So if you feel the need to grab and smoosh and play with your bath bomb, have fun with your bath bomb. Like, you can definitely have a great time with this guy. I want to play in the foam. That's what I want to do. So I'm trying to uh, give him a little break here or there so that way I can foam him up. There we go. Look how much I have left. I have a full, regular size bath bomb left. Like, this is about a, a little bit bigger than I would say a regular size bomb. That is what is left. There you go. Now you can see. And he's been going off for 10 minutes straight, and I still have a regular size bomb left. But I so badly, there you go, I got a piece. I so badly want to play with this thing. The, the, now, the pure sensory part of it, of playing with a bath bomb, is like, I love it. Look at how cool that is! His coloring goes all the way through. So she didn't just take a color and then like, you know, pack it in there. She did all different colors, a lot of work to this bad boy. So a lot, a lot, a lot of work went into him. Ugh, there we go. Ugh, come on, buddy. <laughs> I can't break him. I'm having so much fun with this. Ah, there we go. I used to be the person that hated when people touched the bath bombs, but it's so cool to play with them. And, you know, I mean, once you get down to the initial, after you've seen how beautiful they do, you know, and everything they do, and you're down to the end, it's just fun. Play with it, break it, have a good time with it. It's your baby. And this guy, you can definitely have a lot of fun with. Like, I'm trying to make, like, a really pretty, like, creamy overtop here. And then I'm going to play in the foam. And then, I don't know, I'm going to kick back and relax in it. I may not even turn on the water to build up the bubble, but I really want to show you guys the bubble. So, yeah, we'll do it. I'll show you guys how, how it bubbles up. Because I wanted to just kick back and relax in the foam. Because look how much foam I'm getting. Look. Can you see the full amount of thick, beautiful, creamy foam? And it does smell like a really nice lemon meringue pie. Like, it literally smells like I have jumped into a giant lemon meringue pie. It's got like a marshmallowy scent to it. It's just, there you go. I got the last little bit. Foamed them all up. Creamed them out. Look at that. Alright, last little bit. Wow. So, now what you do is you play. You play in the foam. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Look at the amount of foam. Hold on, let me grab it. Look at the amount of foam. And there's still small pieces going off. Let's try and get down to the water so I can show you that. So here we have a really gorgeous orangey kind of yellowy vibey water going on here very beautiful this is so soft it's so it has no greasiness to it whatsoever it's got high moisture content to it it's soft it's creamy if you have an opportunity to grab this guy you gotta go get him I mean he's definitely one that has to be done you gotta try it look at that look at all that creaminess all right, you ready? We're just going to turn the... Look at it. Look, look, look. The meringue pie. Watch. <laughs> meringue. Meringue. I would get it in lemon meringue pie. I would. I would get it in the meringue scent and everything. I, I would get it in the same scent that I have it in. I would do this again. I definitely would. And I would do it in the same fragrance. I, re I tend to think... I don't know. It just suits it. It just fits it. Because now it looks really beautiful. It looks like a really gorgeous Sun City painting. You know, one of those, like, abstract paintings. Look at it. Look how pretty that is. You can see the sparkle in it. Wow. Fizzle Love, you did a really great job with this bad boy. I am very, very honored to be able to have him in my tub. <laughs> and be able to bathe and relax in him. And he is very soothing. Very, very creamy, moisturizing. Not oily by any bits or anything like that. And you would think with something so large that it may be oily. No. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. 
He did very well. Let's turn the water on for a brief minute. So if you have earbuds in, it's going to get loud and obnoxious. Yank them out or lower your volume. Here we go. I'm going to give it a little pressure just by holding it. Look at that. Now, mind you, I have the crappiest water pressure. Say that's all it is. It's really horrid. <laughs> but even on crappy water pressure, we are getting the bubbles. And it's really bad water pressure. Like, it's. This is the highest it goes. If I turn it down to the normal setting, it would basically trickle and, like, pee into the water and be horrible. But look. So if you were to just use maybe that much water, put your bomb in, take your pictures, have a great time with it, bring the kids in, bring everybody in to see it go off, and then turn your water on and fill the rest of your tub, wow, are you gonna have one hell of an amazing bath. So here we go, just a little bit. We got some bubbles going on here. We have a whole lot of creamy frothiness going on. Absolutely beautiful, perfect. I am very, very, very pleased, very happy. Really do like this. Look, it's like like I'm swimming in a creamsicle. Look at it, look at the water. It's so creamy. It's like I'm swimming in a creamsicle. Oh shit, that's cool. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on more massive bath bombs. I love these bad boys. This new massive bath bomb thing, I, I, I'm just, I love it. Now, I liked it when Lush did it, but, mm, you know, it was, it was cool. But unfortunately, the only bad thing when Lush did it was that Lush didn't didn't like you know compensate for the amount of oils that were in it, and they overdid it. And unfortunately, it was so slippery and so you know all over the place that it was hard to enjoy. This she compensated very well for the, the size of the bomb, and that we were going to have oils and stuff in it, and it's perfect. So once again, thank you to Fizz the Love, amazing bath bomb. Check the description box down below for your coupon code and your link to the shop and have an amazing time. Get this bomb. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed this demo.